In this next segment, we're going to show you how to set up the universal plug and play port forwarding or the network address translation, the NAT. Um, now, this depends on if your router does support it or if it is turned on within the router. The way you access this menu is by going into the configuration menu, network on the left and then NAT on the top. Again, NAT standing for Network Address Translation. Now this step is done again after the local area network is set up under general. You start by going and enabling the UPnP checkbox. Then hit apply to save your changes. You're going to wait about 15 to 20 seconds and then you're going to hit the refresh button. Now once you hit the refresh button you're going to check the UPnP status to see if it changes from inactive to active and then you'll know if it is supported by the router or not um, and again also whether it's turned on or not within the router. So after you wait that 15 to 20 seconds you go and go ahead and hit refresh and you'll see that the external IP address has now populated. So again if you hit refresh one more time you'll see that the status has changed from inactive to active meaning that my router now supports or is enabled with the UPnP or the NAT within the router again. Okay from this screen what basically is happening is the router is talking to your NVR or DVR and is automatically assigning the DVR, in this case under the external port column, available ports that are open within the network. And at the same time, it is automatically port forwarding those ports within the router for you. So there is no need for you to log into the router and manually do the port forwarding. Okay, so as you can see here for the HTTP, the RTSP, and the server port, all three ports were assigned. Now you'll notice up at the top the mapping type is auto. You want to use auto as a tool. So once the UPnP plug and play has um, been found and is turned to active, you want to go ahead and write down these corresponding numbers or these port numbers and then change auto to manual. Okay, the reason why you're doing this, again, is because if there is a reboot to the router or to the NVR or DVR, and this is left as auto, these ports can change on you again. And if they go ahead and change, again, that will um, mess up the outside access when trying to access the device from either the static WAN or the DDNS name. So again, use the mapping type auto as a tool. You want to jot down the external ports, then change the mapping type to menu. Now you'll notice that the external port column went back to the default settings of 80, 554, and 8000 as the internal ports. You want to go ahead and hit the edit pad, backspace the default number, and then go ahead and enter the previously given numbers from the auto setting. Okay, you're going to do that for all three ports. Okay, so for the RTSP, you backspace this. And all three of these ports have to be opened. The HTTP port is used to view from the web browser. The RTSP is your real-time streaming port. This is the port that actually pushes through the video. And then the server port is used for either the CMS client or the mobile app, the Omni Remote mobile app for your smartphones. So all three ports are necessary to be open and port forwarded. So once you go ahead and manually enter in those ports, hit apply, and now you've done your port forwarding by universal plug and play. Go ahead and hit refresh if it does say inactive after you hit apply for your saves and it will again change the status to active. Now if you're in this screen 
and you hit the refresh button and the inactive never changed to active the external IP address did not populate and your ports did not change that would suggest that your router either does not support the UPnP or it is not turned on within the router and then from there you'd have to do the manually manual port forwarding um, setup and we will explain that in the next feature thank you